In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to take the content you're already making on Twitch and put it in a vertical format so that you can upload it to places like TikTok, Instagram Stories, YouTube Shorts, because if you're ignoring those places to post content, then you are missing out on a huge amount of growth for your channel. TikTok actually surpassed YouTube in terms of minutes watched in the US on September 2021, which is absolutely insane. I have a blog post that I wrote about the subject that you can find the link in the description. You should definitely read it because there's some pretty compelling evidence that this is important for content creators going forward. The technique I'm gonna show you for converting your already existing clips is super easy. You can do it in like 30 seconds using this really, really easy to use system. So I'm gonna show you right now. All right, so you did your stream, you got your clip, and now you wanna convert that to something vertical. First thing you need to do is just copy the URL of the clip. So go into your browser and hit Control C to copy it, and uh, there you go. You're gonna go to crossclip.com. Now this is what you're gonna use to convert your clip to a vertical format, edit it so you put the stuff that you want in it where you want it, and then you download it and upload it where you want it to go. This is great for TikTok, Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, all that kind of good stuff. And you should probably create an account because you're gonna be able to store all the things that you've made in one place in case you need to go back and do something with it again. Just paste your little thing there, boop. You can also upload the file if you have downloaded the file, you can do that. You can import YouTube videos as well. Hit get clip, that's gonna find the clip, bring it into the editor for you. What's really cool is that the clip continues to run on a loop while you're editing so that you can see in case, you know, you move out of frame or something like that, then you'll be like, oh, I have to open my crop to make sure that my face stays in the whole time or whatever. So on the left side here, you've got your actual clip that you just brought in in the horizontal format and the timeline. You can even decide to shorten the clip if you don't want the whole thing. Move the front, move the back, move the middle. And then it pre-populates a couple of things. It pre-populated a content box and a camera box. And you can see on the right-hand side in the output of the vertical preview, what these do. So, okay, I can see that area, I can see that area, cool, I can decide what I want. So first we're gonna go with the content. Now, this is a chess clip, so the content is the chessboard, right? If you were playing a video game, it might be the footage of the video game or whatever you're doing. So I'm gonna go over here, I'm just gonna start grabbing corner points and dragging them around until I get my content in focus. There you go, pretty easy. If you wanted to fine tune this a little bit more and not have those dimensions constricted to scale it a certain way, then you can go to this layers area and you can go to the content one and you can click this and click unlocked. And now when you grab a corner point, it doesn't scale in a forced way. So you can really get your content tuned in just the way you like it. Okay, let's call that pretty clean, right? Now I can see the whole chessboard without any excess. So now we got that done, I'm gonna take my camera and we're gonna try to get me in there too. Cool. And again, as you're watching the clip run, it's nice to see the clip going because then you can see, am I staying in frame or, or what have you. So let's say that's pretty good. There are other output formats too, so you don't have to do verticals in here. You can still use cross clip for landscape or square posts like on Facebook and Instagram. Um, and it still gives you this kind of tool where you can decide what is shown. So you don't have to take your clip from Twitch or wherever, put it in like a whole video processing, editing software and do a bunch of complicated stuff. You slap it in here, move things around to what you wanna see, export. This blurred background is kinda cool because if I go into editor options and I add show output borders, I get those same fields over here too. So even though I've sent the content over, I can also scale the content within the output too. So if you wanna have this like effect that you'll see a lot of creators have where they have like the blurred footage of their gameplay content behind the actual output, then you can do that. And then just um, turn this off to get rid of the borders to see what the final product looks like. If you have like an edge hanging over that you wanna fix, then you can go in and you can fix those edges so they look nice and lined up and professionally done. You can also hide the input borders on the left-hand side of the original clip in case you wanna see everything without those fields just to check details and stuff. You can also add layers too if two is not good enough and you wanna have like a third thing. You can click add layer. You can decide whether it's on top or underneath certain layers and stuff like that. And then you go in here and you decide what you want that other content to be. Maybe it's just my little Shen Shan sticker. You can also lock things as you, I love to lock things, that way I don't accidentally scooch something else that I didn't mean to scooch while I'm editing, so now I can't accidentally scooch my camera content because I got them where I want. So now you've made your clip, I'm gonna show you how to export it. 
just go up here to compile, give it a name, uh, frames per second, 60 or 30. Just depends where you're posting it, how smooth you want it to look, quality. You can decide if you want a smaller file size and go to 720. Keep in mind, most people are gonna be looking at this content on mobile, so maybe 1080 is really not that important. And hit start compilation. It's gonna tell you your clip is compiling and next step, so two or three minutes complete, blah, blah, blah. You can download it. They have a mobile app too, by the way. And boom, there's my uh, finished product. And uh, I can go over here and I can click download. And now it's on my computer. If I wanna click it and open it up, boom. There's also a share button right here so you can go straight from here to tweeting it, posting it on Facebook, sharing it on Reddit. You can copy clip URL if you wanna send it as a link. You can connect your TikTok account directly so that you can share it straight to TikTok from here. Really cool thing too is you can go back in later and you can re-edit this. You can hit edit clip or open an editor. And then you have a my clip section where you can go and see all the clips that you've ever made of your content on CrossClip. And if you wanted to go in and reopen them in the editor like before, you can go back to older content, older cross clips that you made and uh, do them again or change them up, whatever. So if you're streaming to Twitch, this is so perfect to be able to diversify your content, get yourself on other platforms and then get those people to come over to Twitch from your descriptions on TikTok and other places. YouTube Shorts is a great example of where this stuff should go. And if you're not already streaming to YouTube, you might wanna consider doing that. So take a look at my how to stream on YouTube video. Otherwise, um, if you liked the video and it helped you, click subscribe because I'm gonna keep working on stuff like this to just make it easy for you to do more. So yeah, thanks for watching.